Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming with more Dawn of Man in the... What would you call this now? Homestead? Fort? Reinforced Village of Gruntings? What the crud is the donkey doing in the stone circle? I guess it's time for the sacrifice. Anyway, in the last video, we reinforced our entire village, gave ourselves plenty of space for growth as needed, and we not only entered, but also completed the Copper Age, and now we are about ready to move on into Bronze. Unfortunately, the only way we're going to make that happen is if we get a fair bit more knowledge. So the best thing that I can think to do at the moment is just go ahead and start smelting up a whole load more copper, using our charcoal and stuff. What are they doing here? What are you watching, exactly? Do they just dig a pit, toss in some logs, and then cover it in dirt and set it on fire? And why are you touching it? That feels like a really good way to get your hands burned! What's your name? Drag. Oh, it kind of figures. Drag, the crazy old lady. I don't know what she's doing. She's got a she's got a nice little hairnet, though. <laughs> That's great. Either way, this is apparently how we're going to be making our charcoal, so... Cool news is we're going to be start making a lot more weapons. Um, that's what I was leading into. Right, weaponry. We're trying to make a bunch of tools. And by making a bunch of spears, and making knives, and so on and so forth, we will get some more knowledge. Is it a lot of knowledge? No. But it is some knowledge. And some is better than none. No, my dogs got sick! Oh no! All my puppies are going to die! Build that immune system, quick! All in all though, I do think the village is looking pretty good. I mean, I like the look of the farming outside of the walls and stuff. That just seems very picturesque. The bridges, uh, the dead dogs and stuff. Oh good, former people join the settlement. Yeah, I don't know. I like the look of it. I think it's looking really good. Now, we are going to get one more big graphical update for this village once we get into... Is it the Bronze Age or the Iron Age? At some point, we'll be able to start building upgrades for our, um, our walls. Get those all up into stone. Looks like it is the Bronze Age. That's pretty nice. And a few other things. I feel like there's an upgrade for housing, but I could be wrong on that point. Maybe there's not. I do like the idea of getting the things like stone carving. That would be really fun to do. Start setting up a bunch of rune stones. Yeah. That's going to be the best way to progress our faith, I'm pretty sure. Invoke the favor of the Norse gods. I don't know where we're supposed to be, historically based, but, you know, it's fine. We don't have enough space for animals. We don't have enough space for animals. Sounds like we need to cull a few animals, that's what it sounds like. Aha, we have completed all of the copper spears. Now we do the exact same thing. But for knives, make all the copper knives. So we can actually take a look here at our management and our knowledge progress. So let's see, where is it? So for spears, right here, yes, we've made 10, which got me the knowledge. If I wanted to get the next knowledge, that'll take 100. I'll be honest, that doesn't seem very likely to me, because by then I'll want to move on to bronze, and that also will take copper as a resource, and these actually are more useful. So that's what I ultimately want to do. What else can we make? We can make some dry fish. Get a heck of a lot more meat. Eh, if we get a bit more grain and flour and bread and stuff, we'll get some more knowledge. There's a few more things that we can do. Ah, I think we're just going to have to sit around and wait for a little bit. This is going to take some time. Boo! Ooh, we finished building our first cart. Okay, and you can see that it automatically hooks up a donkey. And now this guy doesn't have to drag things around in a sledge. You can have another beast of burden do all the work. So these are great. I think building a whole bunch of these could actually be useful. This is the only reason I care about all them donkeys. I wish you could build roads in this game. Roads would be pretty nice. I'd like to use that to kind of lay out some proper streets, make sure that people have slightly faster movement speed and stuff. I don't know. It just seems like it would make a lot of sense to have roads. That's not a thing that you can, like, unlock later, is it? I don't think so. Let's see. Demining iron, steel making, staddle stones, whatever the heck those are. Hydropower, reinforced making. No, I don't think you can. Which is unfortunate. The really important thing, though, is once we get to the Bronze Age, we can start brewing some beer. And this is where having lots of rye available is good. You know? Distill some rye down into a whiskey? Prehistoric whiskey? That'll make people super happy. Who needs religion? Aha, there we go. We now are up to 20 knowledge. Um, something I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn off the skins outfit. I am tired of them using up all my valuable leather on clothes that are kind of worthless at this point. Hopefully we have enough wool that we'll be able to continue making outfits out of that, but this should last me for a good long while. Now! Shall we move on to the Bronze Era? Unlocks a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, let's see, we get tin mines. Iron smelting will become required at some point. Bronze spears, knives, axe, swords, pick sickles, and so on. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and pick her on up. Ba-boom! Bronze Age. Ahoy! Now, we do seem to finish up some more of these tools. I still haven't made things like copper picks and stuff. There's some more easy knowledge that I want to get out of that. 
But beyond that, now we can actually move on to tools, and you can see that, for example, a bronze, uh, sorry, a copper axe might be two wood cutting, but a bronze is three. So bronze is just objectively better in every possible way. Now the only way that it's gonna work though is if I set up some more tin mines. So let's go to production. Nope, wait, sorry. Metallurgy. We wanna look for tin. Let's go into our mode here. Let's see, there should be a site right over. Yep, there's one right there. A little tin mine really close to the base. We're looking for any of the little gray ones. Like these. Well, kind of white, I guess. That one feels a little far away, though. We got any other closer sources of tin? That's it? Eesh. I guess we'll go up into these mountains. These should last me for a good long while, I would think. Place one over there. And we'll place another one right over here. Whoops. Well, I think I missed, but you guys get the point. Oh, this is interesting. Some more animals are going extinct. Cave lions and cave bears have gone extinct. So have reindeer? Now see, <clears throat> I'm no zoologist, but I am, oh, there go the cave hyenas too. I am fairly confident that reindeer still exist. Maybe in not that specific format, I don't know, but they're definitely around, so don't tell me they're not. A small problem I'm running into right now is it looks like we do not have enough straw to go around for all of our animals during winter. Look at these hay st stacks, and even after harvest season and midway through winter, we are pretty much out. It might be enough to get them to the winter so they can graze on their own, but we definitely should set some good limits on animals and make sure we stop taking in any more. Cull a few extras. My only question is, do we want to cull the donkeys? I mean, until we get more hay, I guess they're going to get culled on their own, aren't they? Goats aren't especially useful at this point, uh, especially since we could have cattle instead. So I'm okay with saying that all goats ought to go away. I'm also okay with saying that we should have less donkeys and all, because I haven't built that many carts. We can always tame more if we need to, but cattle and sheep for wool and leather make a lot of sense. The extra donkeys, I am sorry to say, are just going to have to die. Oh, here comes our next raider attack. Everybody run for your lives! Children, what are you still doing out here? Why are you even still- oh, you're already fighting a guy. Run! Run away! You shouldn't be here at all! This is a terrible place! Oh gosh, all these old women who are caught outside are probably going to die. Run if you can. I don't know if we're going to make it though. I think those guys may be dead. Alright, well, everyone get inside. Um, I don't know if we're going to be okay. Let's see, can you guys kill? Yes. Okay, we're kind of killing them as they cross the bridge, which is working pretty well for us. So we lost, I think, five colonists, which feels like a lot. Ouch, okay. But we have killed enough raiders to gain some more knowledge, so I guess that's a plus. Ooh, eek. All right, yeah, getting caught outside by these guys, not that fun. On the plus side, though, they should be dropping better uh, gear and stuff as time goes on. Let's see. I see all the linen outfits and stuff, some charcoal. Don't know where that came from. Did you guys already drop all your weapons? Eh, there's bows and stuff. Okay. No, I mean, I guess there's more for us to scavenge. Just, you know, is it going to be enough to replace those five people we lost? Yeah, maybe. Hey, look, swords. Bronze swords and some shields. Ah. Now, I do believe that the raiders are also going to be, um, a couple of people got infections, are also going to be teching up over time. And I don't know if we can outrace them or if their tech is always tied to your own. But the point remains, they are increasingly dangerous as the game goes on with better and better gear. So be very wary of that. All right, let's see. For research, what should we do? Masonry, if we wanted to get warehouse roundhouses. Oh, there we go. Okay, if we want to get better housing with stone and stuff. There you go. Uh, sword making, you know, with bows, I think those are just fine. Brewing would be very good. Take the rye and turn that into some beer, get morale up. Fish traps with netting, kind of okay. Horses, all right. And then there's the stone carving. Mm. I'm kind of tempted to say we should go for brewing so I can make beer. Beer would hopefully be a pretty good trade good, but also I've been having a lot of morale issues lately because I'm overworking my populace. So maybe getting some beer brewed would actually be very helpful to keep them under control. Maybe. More people are dying of infection, so we're losing a lot of pops out of that raid. That kind of sucks. But in production, we can go for a brewery and place that, I don't know, right over here? Sure. We'll place you right up over here. And I'll see what ingredients are involved in actually brewing some beer. I've never done this before. We've actually gone beyond my, uh, my own personal knowledge of Dawn of Man in this age. So a lot of this is a new learning experience for me as well. But that's all the more exciting, isn't it? Ooh, we achieved another milestone called Metal Alloy. I'm guessing I somehow smelted some bronze by accident. All right. That's a great picture of a thatched roof. 
I'm not sure what exactly it was trying to convey there, but okay. Yeah, graphics look great. Um, okay, well, now let's see, actually. What, what was that? What would we just get here? Metal alloy, yep, a unit of bronze. Okay, only two milestones to get, go, and that would be 20 units of steel, which obviously requires the Iron Age. And then Iron Settlement, get 150 people and build a cairn in your settlements. Now that's going to be a little while still, and it's a little bit hard for me to actually hold on to population because people are dying of infections and diseases and raiders and blah 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 blah. I don't know, I haven't been able to break 100 yet, but uh, if we can just keep trucking along, we'll get there eventually. Oh good, our first brewery has been built. Okay, so what is this going to require? It takes wheat, or I assume rye? Something like that, plus water and creates double beer. Recovers morale and hydration. Well, that depends strongly on exactly what you're brewing. Okay, alcohol can leave you as dehydrated as anything else, but it'll make you feel good in the process, so maybe dehydration makes you feel dizzy and happy. Not sure which it is. We're not advanced enough to understand the exact uh, biology behind it, but the point is, beer good, make a lot of it. Yo, I'm not really sure how we're getting some of this stuff for bronze. All of my pit furnaces are set only to making copper. How are we making bronze by accident? What are we doing? I don't know, but somehow I've got bronze, and it's making me uncomfortable because somebody, somebody is doing an illis illicit, an illicit smelting activity. Oh my god, I think we've invented a whole new form of underground crime. Ah, now look at this. Marek the Traitor has come by with the technology for horse domestication. It's gonna be a little on the expensive side, and by a little I mean like a freaking lot. But we can trade off a lot of these extra fishing rods. I mean, if I just trade off 30 of them, that's the tech right there. And am I really relying that much on fish right now? No. So this seems like a reasonable thing to do, even though he is charging exorbitant prices. I get a whole new section of technology. That's great. Now, if I ever wanted to tame some horses, we could certainly do that now. Um, I guess horses are probably better for cart pulling than donkeys. Actually, I should only know the difference is, really, in this game from a horse compared to a donkey. Maybe it's just the same thing, but another type of animal on the map you can domesticate, just in case one's available and the other isn't. Hey, look, a whole load of cows. Let's get them. Something that's a little bit awkward is when an animal is marked for being butchered, but it turns out it's the donkey pulling your cart. So I'm just watching, I didn't catch it on camera, but I'm watching this guy walk downtown, and he's got his donkey pulling his cart, and then someone just walks over and clams it over the head, and starts skinning it right in front of the guy. It's like, dude, what freaking gives? Ooh, disease affecting one of my crops. Well, at least it was the bitter vetch. I don't think anybody liked eating that stuff anyway. Let's take a look at our knowledge. What else can we be getting right now? I guess we could go for sword and shields, but I mean, eh, it doesn't seem that important to me. Fish traps could be helpful. Maybe I want to go for the masonry. Just because getting a lot of stone buildings and stuff might be worthwhile to me, especially as the uh, trees become a little less prevalent right now. This could be good. At the same time, though, eh, maybe we want to go for stone carving. If we go for stone carving, that could be good just to get my morale up, because morale is still proving to be a little bit difficult for me to keep high. Unfortunately. Um, okay, so that's all done. Good. So let's see what's involved in the new spiritual buildings. If we want to get a statue, we need a carved megalith. Okay. Well, I guess I could knock down a couple of the megaliths I have right now, and let's pray. What is this, by the way? Oh, cool. I didn't realize we had this over here. Um, let's go ahead and knock these down and see if they uh, they don't get destroyed in the process. Hopefully we will be able to pick them right back up and carve them into something beautiful. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen out of that. I'm also trying to transport some more over here because I'd like to build a dolmen. A dolmen is another type of funerary structure. We'll take a look at it right over here. Which makes it better for uh, housing all of our dead people. And also looking really good and getting me some extra prestige and stuff. So, I want these. But unfortunately, megaliths are a limited resource on the map, and they get further and further away. You have to go really far looking for those dang stones. So they become a very, very valuable resource at some point if you want to keep your morale nice and high, which is something we are obviously struggling with. Some of our people don't have light clothing. I know, I know. It's almost as if we're not making leather clothes anymore. Hey, look, this one didn't get knocked down for good. Okay, that's good. And are you going to stick around too? Ah, oh, that one got blown up. No! Okay, well, we lost that one. Again, finite resource. Every time we lose one of those, it hurts. It hurts me inside quite a bit. But we can place a nice carved statue right here in the middle of the town. And it's going to look super imposing. Uh, some highly confused oryx appear to be walking into the village. 
Um, can we possibly stop them if we close the gates right now? Ah, boo. I was hoping that was gonna work. Alright, leave them open. Um, I don't know what they're doing inside here, but I mean, if they're gonna wander so close from me, then I say we freaking kill them. We can grab ourselves another round of technology, and I think I will go ahead and grab the masonry. Now, let's see what's involved in all of that. So, we should have access to all the different residence types now. If we want to build a roundhouse that takes some stone, some logs, some branches, and some straw, but it does not take mud this time, so it looks like that's what we're basically replacing the mud with, is stone. Which is good, I think, however, that a stone building requires, like, some sort of heating. Is that correct? That may or may not be true. Uh, for storage, we have access to the warehouse now, which is better for storing more resources and preserving them. We probably should build those. And yeah, what else do we get access to? Um, Staddle stones we can research next. Walls we can upgrade. So what does it cost to build new walls? So previously it cost one log, now it costs one stone. Okay. Well, that's good. Now, to be honest, I don't think that we have any issues of raiders trying to knock down my walls, so I'm not sure how much help that's going to be. But we have the option, if we want to start upgrading our houses, like these guys, instead of waiting on... Well, I say instead of waiting on straw, but we still need straw, so how's that going to help me? Hmm, we need a heck of a lot more straw if we're going to end up making this one work. So raiders are on the way, once again. Ooh, they're coming from a different direction this time. I'm not accustomed to this. So, where are they going to go? Are they going to go over here? These guys appear to be stuck running in place. It's like, oh, I know we're supposed to... Oh, someone got killed. Darn it. It's like, I know we're supposed to get ready, but... I was in the middle of praying, so I'm all stuck now. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do with myself. Alright, so these should be activated. Why did not... Why doesn't everybody have bows? I've got 94 bows for a reason. Heck, I've even got a composite bow. But it seems like some of you guys are insistent. Oh, wait. Did I close the gates too early? I did, actually. Oops. Run this way! Try to dodge them! Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to pick off the stragglers who are coming after me. Uh, that may be an issue. I think we're about to lose a lot more population, because I wasn't ready for the... I wasn't ready for the raiders this time. Well, grand. So they walk right into the towers, and they're all gonna get killed. But I have lost quite a few. They even killed one of my sheep, and some dogs, and one of my cattle died of starvation. Uh, it seems like the, um, it seems to me like the Bronze Age is not being very forgiving. Um, I'm struggling really hard to get the resources that I need, and I'm trying really hard to farm everything up, but it's just not enough. We are constantly overworked, and I can't keep enough pops around to actually pick up the slack. We're starting to find ourselves really running into a wall here. Ta-da! We got ourselves a weird little man! I, wow, what a bizarre carving that is. But I feel inspired as heck. Okay, cool. Extra knowledge comes from that. That gets us up to 10. Um, we can go for things like the shields and swords. I do like the idea of getting up to composite archery. That would obviously be very helpful. That said, netting. Do we want fish traps? Um, I don't know. It depends. What does it take to make a fish trap? It takes... We don't know yet. They won't tell me. Guess that makes sense, since we haven't invented it. Um... Okay, well, let's go for the fish trap, and then we'll focus on the military and stuff. I think we've got a little bit of time going on there. So, for these, it takes... Ah, linen. Lots of linen. Well, I can't really afford to make those right now, because I don't quite have enough light clothes to go around. Now, I am trying to fix that by getting myself a second weaver. Because I don't think we've actually been refining enough linen into proper cloth. We've got plenty of wool outfits, but not enough linen. So I'm working on that, but we need a bit more weaving. Hey, look, four more settlements. Good, we're almost back up to where we were before that devastating raid. Interesting. Here's something I'm learning right now. If I look through the help section here, I can learn a bit more about the different plants, right? And what I'm finding is that these different plants actually all do slightly different things. Rye, for example, has a 15% disease resistance and a 15% chance of producing an extra grain in the fall. As opposed to barley, which has a 50% chance of producing extra straw. And given that straw is one of the resources I'm really struggling for right now, uh, maybe I should be planting a heck of a lot more barley. Emmer has a chance of producing extra food. Einhorn is just even really good at fighting against resistance. Um, what about things like this? Let's see. That doesn't appear to be special. That's not special. I don't really see a lot of difference then between the different pulses. These all appear to be exactly the same. Good to know. And then berries are the same as well. So it's really the cereal grains that I need to be paying a lot of attention to. Oh, crap. There goes all my barley. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, yeah. Hmm. 
So, this does mean, though, that I can stop producing as much, let's say... What is this? I can't tell because people are getting in my way. Emmer? Do I want to care about the emmer? No, I don't think I care about the emmer. What I should be doing is just growing a load of barley so that I can get as much, uh, as much straw as possible. That said, it's important to still diversify your resources because, yeah, as you just saw with the diseases, it can still mess you up and you'll lose everything. Gosh dang it. Hey, there we go. A nice stone roundhouse. It looks great. We're low on food. Oh, frick. What do you mean I'm low on food? Uh, so the roundhouse is done, so that gets me some water. No, that's just the resources people are storing inside there. Why are you holding on to the bronze? That doesn't make any sense. So these do require fuel, but so do all the regular huts as well. So this is nothing new. I'm going to assume this actually just makes them more efficient in terms of fuel. Also, they allow for a little bit of extra space. So roundhouses seem certainly good. We probably should be upgrading those. Uh, first things first, though, I think we need to get myself some more food. Where are some vulnerable animals I can kill? There's a bunch of cattle right there. Perfect. Be very, very quiet. Sneak up on them. Get them all. All right, that should be a lot of dead cattle. A lot of dead bulls. Hoping that translates into lots of free food for me. Ooh, I think we just finished building our dolmen. There it is. Let's go ahead and use our camera to take a good look. So where you put the bodies, I don't really know. Because there's no holes in the ground, and there's no, like, space in the sides to, like, embalm the bodies or something and leave them wrapped up over here for memory's sake. So I don't know exactly how this works. It looks cool, but it's a bit of a mystery to me. The good news is we seem to be finally getting on top of things a little bit, just by reducing the number of crops being a bit more focused here and also getting more of those bronze tools up and running. Seems to have made my people a lot more efficient and we're not getting quite as overloaded as before. So they can quickly finish all of their tasks and they're not losing their morale, which means they're moving faster and finishing their tasks faster that way as well. So we're looking good there. Let's go to knowledge. Now we can go ahead and pick up sword making. That leaves shield making and composite archery. Then we need 25 knowledge if we want to learn about iron smelting. Yeesh. That one, unfortunately, is going to take a while, but I'll work on it. I definitely think I'm surprised to find that straw ends up being such a crucial resource for us in this game. I kind of figured that wouldn't be the problem going into the Bronze Age. I thought getting metal and stuff would be a, hard, a whole lot harder, but so far that's been fine. It's the fact that we've domesticated so many animals that's coming back to bite me in a pretty hard way. And again, I'm trying to apply my uh, limits in an intelligent manner. You know, make sure I have plenty of wool, plenty of milk and stuff coming from cattle, some donkeys to pull things around. But I'm not trying to go too crazy here. And yet it seems like I am using up so much of my straw. I almost need to just kill off all of my animals so I can build my town the way I want it to be. Then I can worry about domestication again. But I know that's not really an option because I absolutely need my sheep if I want to continue getting warm clothing. So we're kind of in a weird spot there. And I don't have enough... Oh, a donkey got struck by lightning. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I definitely don't have enough people going around to actually get a lot more farms going. But if I could, I'd love to set up some more barley farms just for the chance of getting more straw. Not food, just straw. Hey, we finally reached a population of 100. I broke into those triple digits. I don't even have enough housing for all those people, so I'm not sure what happened. I'm guessing someone gave a baby, but even so, we're building up a roundhouse. So we're getting as much stone housing as I can. I do actually have a little bit of straw building up for once. My god, that's amazing. Yeah, we actually seem to be getting on top of things again. That's just fine. All I have to worry about now is food, and what's weird is that I'm having a bit of a regression from a hunter-gatherer society to a farming society, and then finding that that's not really proving sufficient and I need to go back to a hunter-gatherer society somewhat. So now I have more balanced gameplay than I did before. Not how I expected things to go. I'm not mad about it, it's just weird. Somebody died of hypothermia? Well, what's your excuse? I got plenty of wool outfits going around. Did you take um, a winter swim again? Look, I'm telling you, you go swimming around in the river and you're gonna get sick. You guys don't listen to me. Let Dre be the lesson to all of you. Scratch all of that. That was dumb. And here comes our next round of raiders. Some of you guys, this old lady named Arakra, or whatever her name is, needs to stay the freaking heck away. Because they're attacking from a different direction than I would have expected. So they're all gonna gather up over here. I want to close up the gates and stuff, but maybe we can, maybe we can't. Um, do we let them get close? Let's see, if I get you guys all out over here, we might be able to pick them off as they come onto the bridge. And that would be, whoop, there we go, relatively safe. You guys back up a bit further. There we go, okay, we killed some raiders. They destroyed one of my towers, but that's not a big deal. And we seem to have slaughtered all of them without losing anybody this time. Oh my gosh! 
It's a freaking Christmas miracle. All right, well, strip the bodies, get all their stuff. It's just like RimWorld. Cool. Well, we did lose one tower out of that arrangement, but I think that is a perfectly fair trade. Now, ideally, what you do is you set up enough of these uh, towers, and you just pull everybody behind the walls, close the gates, and then just let them deal with all of it. That would be great, but, I mean, right now it's cost me way too many resources just to maintain the dang things. So I don't think that's really an option. I think we're going to have to get out there and just do as much DPS as possible and pray that that ends up being enough. And in this case, it was. By the way, let's go ahead and get ourselves some new research. We're going to go for shield making so we can actually get shields if we so desire. Lastly, for the Bronze Age, will be composite archery. And Balak has got an infection. Well, that sucks. Oh, we've also made a whole load of beer. Love to hear it. Ah, I can just buy composite archery outright from this trader, huh? Not even a high commission for once. That feels pretty fortuitous. Okay. Well, I mean, this is why I've been producing tons and tons of fishing rods, is it not? <laughs> So I can buy technology using my fishing technology? Yeah, this is great. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Why the heck not? All right, cool. Let's just go ahead and trade 36 fishing rods for the ability to make composite archery if we want to. There it is. Now, if we want to make the bow, that requires, instead of uh, leather, requires linen. Um, okay, nope, seems reasonable enough to me, and these are even better at hunting than the others. So as long as we have plenty of flax production coming in, and that should be fine. So flax becomes a very important resource then. Very important for your clothing, very important for your uh, food gathering with fish and fishing nets and also fishing rods. Also very good for defense and for hunting with composite bows. So you really can never have too much linen is what I'm taking out of this. That's probably not the right lesson to take out of it, but it's what I'm taking nonetheless. Even so, I think this is probably where I'm going to end this video, because we've made a lot of progress, and now technically we have completed the Bronze Age. That leaves only the Iron Age remaining. And maybe the Steel Age if you really want to split them up, but that's kind of splitting hairs at this point. So we got a long way to go. A lot of new technology necessary, but I would absolutely love to get up to 150 population and get myself a cairn so I can finish off that last milestone. That would be pretty awesome for us. All right, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time in Gruntings. <laughs>